You're tuning into the Tech Me Show only on YouTube. Hey guys, Lance here. Um, recently, I've been playing with my uh, Raspberry Pi setup. Uh, I'm working on a small add-on to the operating system of Raspbian, which is a version of, uh, well, it doesn't matter, Debian. Um, anyways, as you see here, I messed up the partition. Um, <laughs> and so, I know this might happen to other people, that's why I'm making the video. I was a little upset myself, uh, but as you see here, it says it's only 55.9 megs. Well, that's obvious, it must be a, a fat partition, simply because... Uh, it doesn't show anything else, and plus, blah, 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 we won't go into it. Um, anyways, as we see here, n you know, how is a 7, well, it's really 8 gigabyte, uh, but it comes out to 7.4 something uh, when recognized in Windows. Uh, uh, USB stick come out to be 55.9 and show up nowhere else, right? <laughs> well, simply because, um, well, I messed up. I accidentally killed the uh, formatter that I was using to format the disk and whatnot. Anyways, it came out as fat, and I did that because most systems recognize fat. Um, so, as we see here, it's no good. <laughs> we want to get that space back, right? So, we could go ahead and go into the disk manager, which we'll just do to humor it. But we're going to need to do this manually. Uh, disk management. Let's make sure we didn't corrupt it, right? So we'll go down, and here we are. So it's 7.45 gigs, which is really 8 gigs. Uh, but as you see, it has the healthy uh, uh, primary partition. Now, I could right-click these suckers, delete volume. In fact, I'll do it just to humor this. So we'll go ahead and delete it. Still, doesn't matter. See, right-click, not going to matter. And just to confirm, and we'll go ahead and refresh to just make sure. See, it did not allocate uh, the other stuff to this. That partition is there. It's stuck, and it's not showing anything else, right? So we'll go ahead and minimize that. So the best way to do this is, well, manually. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, open up uh, a command prompt. And I am currently in Windows 8, so we're going to have to do it this way. So, we'll go ahead and uh, open up disk, uh, disk part, I believe, and we'll have to accept it. So, it opens up disk part, like so. So, we'll go ahead and do list, volume, and do we see it? Yeah, it's right there, but it doesn't have a name, right? So, what we could do is go back, um, which we will, uh, back to computer management. Let's just give it a name to make it a little bit easier, right? Go to properties. And we'll call it uh, new, just to give it a, a volume name. So as we see, it says new. Um, so we'll, uh, well, we're not going to clear it. We'll do list volume again. Okay, so now you see it as new, right? And it shows it as 56 megs, and we know it's 56 megs. I don't have to show you. Hopefully you believe me, right? So let's go ahead and select the volume. So we'll do select. Volume equals, and I guess it's number 10 here. So now we've selected the volume. We're in the volume, so to speak. And the best thing we could do now is extend. And, uh, oh, okay. So let's go ahead and do format. This should fix that issue. Um, and then we'll go ahead and do extend. No? Okay, so let's do format uh, fs equals ntfs. See if that does it. I'll close my computer management. Okay, so if we do extend, there we go. So I had to change it, uh, format it to uh, NTFS from uh, FAT. That was my problem. So how do we know this really worked? Well, let's do list volume. And there you go. See the file size? It's much bigger. And it's the D. So we'll do exit. And we'll go ahead and exit here. I could probably have just closed it just as easy. And we'll refresh it. 
there we go. 7.44 gigabytes. We're back to normal. Anyways, thank you for watching the Tech Me Show. Have a good day.